Tides of Vengeance Part 2 Survival Guide. It has 15,000 views. Okay. Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide Part right. 2 for the Good. Tides of Vengeance update. What's this guy attacking on his fucking mount? Oh, I know why. Okay, here's why, guys. Is because obviously in world PvP, there's a lot of lag. So because there's more than five characters in the frame, that means that the servers are crashing and the character's animation is actually still showing him on the mount while he's performing his melee attacks because of the lag. Th that, that's why they're showing this. It's actually a very, very realistic video here. In this video, we'll go over all of the new content coming to the game, including a new raid, okay. Azerite armor updates, there and Season 2 of PvP and Mythic Plus Dungeons. All right. First up, the Battle of Dazaralor Raid, a story told from two perspectives as the Alliance storms the Zandalari capital okay. of Dazaralor while the Horde works to defend it and push the Alliance back to the sea. There are nine total bosses in the Battle of Dazaralor, yeah. some of which you'll play from the perspective of the other faction as you learn their side really of the cool. story. By defeating these encounters, that's the you'll earn a new element. tier of gear, with item levels ranging from 370 in Raid Finder difficulty all the way... 370. So that means that now, um, there's basically no reason to do Old Deer. So the new raid comes out, and the old raid is useless. Uh, why would anybody go back and do all deer? Uh, there's almost no reason to do it unless you're doing mythic, which is of course going to be invalidated by normal mode gear. Because obviously the every difficulty is 15 item levels. That's what they've been doing forever. So it's going to be 370, 385 for normal mode, uh, 400 for heroic, and 415 for mythic. That's what they're going to do. It's, it's insane up to 415 and the gear does look really fucking cool that's the plate armor right there uh i, I think that's the I, I don't know which one the other ones are okay this is the plate armor though obviously these are the mythic sets they look fucking cool um i i don't have any complaints with the mythic sets i i'm happy with them mythic battle of desire lore will open on normal and heroic difficulty the week of january 22nd along with Season 2 of Mythic Plus and PvP. All right. Mythic difficulty of the raid and the first wing of Raid Finder will open the following week. Thank God. To go along with the new raid, there are two new chapters of your faction's war campaign questline. These follow okay. the story leading up to and following the events of the Battle of Dazara Lore, giving you the opportunity to learn not only how the battle begins, but how each faction deals with the aftermath. No. Season 2 also unlocks some updates for Azerite armor, the most noticeable of which is a new outer ring, which includes two trait options for each spec. Okay. This should make it a lot easier to find gear with your favorite traits. You'll see this ring on any epic quality Azerite pieces you pick up after Season 2 begins, as long as they're item level 370 or higher. Okay. That includes items from Mythic Dungeons, the new raid, the new PvP season, and even world quests. All right. On top of that, the Titan Residuum vendor has been updated to now offer higher item level pieces, and you'll have more options for Azerite pieces earned through conquest in PvP. 385. The gear from Mythic Keystone wow. Dungeons has also been upgraded, and there's a new tier three affix for season two, Reaping. This bestows the power of Buan Samdi on all non-boss creatures in the dungeon. Ooh. giving them a chance to avenge their own deaths. Okay. Every so often, you'll need to fight off their ghosts as they rush towards you. And of course, PvP is getting its own new season, with new gear and mounts, plus the return of Vicious Saddles, as a way to earn some older mounts you may have missed. That's good, I'm glad about that. That's all for now, but keep your eyes peeled for even more content on the way, including the Crucible of Storms raid, as well as two oh. new allied races. Zandalari and Cool Tyrants. Thanks yes, for about watching, time. and we'll see you on the fields of battle. I bet the classic survival WoW guide will be two hours long. Blizzard Entertainment Survival Guide. Leave Activision.
It's just not worth my 15 bucks anymore. Z, wake me up whenever allied races you promised years ago are playable. You are right, Blizzard. What Mythic Plus needed was more trash mobs. Not coming back for it and still not very happy with the state of the game, but I feel bad for the devs. Must suck having people hate what you make. Well, if you shit on a plate and then you complain that people don't want to eat it, I think that's kind of your fault. Excited for the new raid? Why is this man shouting? Oh, this isn't my video. Okay, never mind. Um, I have been defending WoW for years, but after this trash expansion went live, I realized how out of touch Blizzard is with what its community wants. Imagine being over 15 and waiting for Blizzard to make a video so you can dislike it. I'm sure this guy's 32 and he farms Azerite gear. You know what his favorite feature is? Island expeditions. He really has fun doing those because they're at his pace. Uh, he's really happy with the current state of the game because it matches his pace. Yeah, yeah, only, you, you know what? Kids aren't playing this game because any kid that's playing, that would play a game to have it be meaningful was playing like Fortnite or something. There are no kids playing this game because it doesn't encourage them to do it. Imagine being a fanboy for a corporation. That's sad. Blizzard, please fix the game. I bet sub numbers are below 1M. Lol. The game would already be free to play. Remember the days that it was fun to play WoW? Good times. Here's a three minute video about one new piece of content and updates for the few already existing ones. Hope you enjoyed this second part video of an otherwise pretty small patch. Stop crying. Keep telling yourself that. Nothing special. Will patch 8.2 save BFA? Okay, dude. I suspect a lot of people click dislike only for the sake of clicking. Maybe they don't like the game. Like, see, I, I love how all these people, like, they just rationalize, like, they're, it's, it's not like, it's like, oh, yeah, they're just doing it to be sheep, or they're just doing it because they're kids. It's like they're, they're attacking, like, the, uh... <laughs> like the authority of people that dislike the game, right? They're either doing it because they're stupid or they're kids. It's crazy. Like, I, I, it's sad to see this, man. But that's the way it goes. Never unlike the video so fast. You don't unlike videos, jo John Carlo. The fuck are you talking about unliking a video, John Carlo? The fuck is unliking? I'm going to pass on this patch, yeah. I, I, I don't know how to say his fucking name, dude. I have no idea. Just brainless haters in the comments. Never disliked the video so fast. But they didn't say that, Lee Trobs. Because, like, this is obviously who he's talking about, right? This guy, because he has 75 likes. He said he unliked it, not disliked it. Why are you going to fucking quote somebody and say something that they didn't say? A quote is supposed to be their exact words. So you're, you're, it's like it's wrong even at the first fucking step. I mean, you ever think about this? It's insane. You quote somebody, it, it, this is literally fucking fake news. Um, your uh, worst community ever. Your, your comments are useless. Your is a, a proper noun, by the way. That's why it's capitalized. And it's also, uh, you know, followed up or, you know, this is right, right before an ellipses, which makes really not a lot of sense either. Your comments are useless AF and won't change anything. Wow, well, that's really great. I guess the game's still going to suck then, right? Blizz did the same work in content with Legion. Uh, at this time, nobody flamed Blizz, so why now? Comments with Activision, Cry Cry, Bruin, Blizz. They are with them like 10 years, and they haven't much to say about anything besides some business moves. This guy actually knows everything that's happening at the company, and he's telling everybody this in a YouTube comment that's spelled incorrectly and also improperly uses quotes. Uh, and let, let's see what the rest is. Let's hope the vanilla mains. Nobody calls himself a vanilla main. So, like, this person, like, 
it's obvious that he's never taken English class either, right? I mean, because community isn't a proper noun, neither is your, you know, this is obviously just a bunch of broken English and, you know, a, a, a feebly cobbled attempt to communicate here, which is actually just sad. But the fact that other people are liking it just assumes that there's other people that are as stupid as he is. Uh, but we'll, we'll, let's go ahead and go to the rest of it. Let's hope that Vanilla Mains, which is, again, capitalized for, I, I guess you can do that, right? We'll just leave boys and let them be. Nobody needs you. So that's right. So so if you think that Blizzard's making all the right decisions, then why do you want people that Blizzard's making a game for that obviously Blizzard wants to appeal to this audience to leave the game? Because like, if Blizzard makes all the right decisions, aren't you disagreeing with Blizzard whenever you want people that play vanilla to not play the game? Because they're making vanilla for people that like vanilla. Like... Thanks to you, they split the WoW team just for Classic, which will be dead in like two months. Thank you that you ruined some content in the current add-on. Just cry, cry, cry. So here's what we've learned. We've learned that Activision has no, uh, they don't do anything to Blizzard except for they make business moves, right? Which, you know, what? who knows what that means. It also means that they split the WoW team for Classic WoW and that vanilla mains hopefully will leave blizzard like i i it's just sad man it really is like i don't know what else to say the guy's a fucking retard uh like i i feel bad about people like this because they're so stupid and the problem is that they're so stupid that they don't even know that they're stupid Right, because there, it's like at a certain point, like there's just like no self-awareness because you're just so dumb, you don't even know what's going on, right? And, and I think that's basically where this guy is at. Uh, it's kind of sad, but you know that's the way it goes, I guess. Majority of people they lack self-awareness. Well, yeah, I, I mean exactly, there's no self-awareness at all. Uh, it, it's kind of sad. Um, let's see. So like 90% of the population, unfortunately, you're not right. Um. Uh, like, if you're smarter? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, I'll make a comment, and everybody can like my comment if I'm smarter. There it is. Address the tally situation? What tally situation? You trying to start drama again? Get the fuck out of my stream. Uh, just a second here. Uh, people get along. I'd like to know what Blizzard did to make you hate them. Worst expansion, don't bother. Yeah, it, it's just... I, I, I don't know. It's just fucking sad, man. Yeah, it, it's just more drama. Like, they're just kids that don't have any friends in real life, so they try to create discontent and discourse between, you know, uh, Twitch streamers. So that way they can feel like they're vicariously part of some sort of social interaction because they don't have any in real life. Uh, that, that's what's going on, right? Uh, so let's see. You're saying Zendel and Culture are somehow even more gated off and we won't see them until when the patch launches. Wait, oh, that's actually true. Yeah, I never, I never really thought about that, but yeah, you're kind of right. Because... Like, the Zandalari were supposed to be in the game on day one, right? Or not really supposed to be, but I, I think a lot of people kind of ex expected expected that to happen. And, uh... Welcome to the world... They're not. I mean, that's kind of sad, but, I mean, fuck. I, I don't even know what else to say. I know people are allowed to dislike Tally, right? It's not a request it. Well, no, it, for being here. No, I, I didn't say that people can't dislike Tally, but whenever they want to inject their own personal agenda into my stream and make me comment on it in a way that reaffirms their worldview, which obviously means that they want me to say bad things about Tally because they don't like him, I don't want to have any part of that, and I think it's disgusting, obnoxious, annoying, weird, and cringeworthy. So, yeah, that, that's, yeah, their agenda Andy's. Like, they got banned in Tally's chat because they probably said something rude, and now they come over here to complain about it. I don't feel sorry for you. You're probably obnoxious, and you probably deserved it. Yeah, you're, uh, I mean, let's be honest. Um, like, I mean, that's, that's really the way that I feel. It's just, it, those people like that are just so fucking annoying. Uh, I, I just don't really like them. I mean, there, there's the truth, man. Uh, let's see here. Where's the rest of the grind? BFA is bad, abandoned Tally chat. Well, I, I don't know about that. With your magical trans sample, you gotta delay content as much as possible. Well, I exactly, right? I mean, that that's basically what it's about. Yeah, you have to delay content in a way that people don't complain about it, though. At least give something people for people to think about. Like, nobody's thinking about Azurite gear. I mean, that's unfortunate. Did you watch the Fat Boss previews? Um, I'll watch it, uh, at some point. Probably, like, the day before the raid comes out. That's what I would say. Uh, just a second here. Um, Cuphead win? Yeah, we're gonna start it. 
You guys think it's time? Okay. Oh, somebody's mad in chat. Let me read. Let me read what you said. Um, I I, I can't, cause there's too many there's too many fucking messages. Um, somebody's mad. Oh, you look, dude. If you're mad, good. I think it's funny. All right, let, let's start this up. Let's get it going. Hmm. If your butt hurt, that I made fun of some barely literate retard in a YouTube comment. The reason that you're probably mad is because you relate to him. That's the way it goes. Gravismo, thank you very much to 20 community subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I fucking appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. If people want to say stupid shit, I'm going to make fun of them. That's the way it goes, man. All right. Where are we here? Let me see if I can start this up. 